Whoop, whoop. Are you as excited as I am to start the first question page? Here we are on content page number two. And if you click on the edit tab, you can see the construction of all your different pages. So basically it's just a little list of all your pages and where they jump to based on the button options on each page. Notice that there's a collapsed view and there's an expanded view. So this is what the expanded view looks like. So it looks exactly the same, except that you actually see the details of the page and the buttons which you can enter on any given page. And then if somebody clicks on those buttons, where do they go? So um, most of the time I can see me working in the collapsed view. So here we go. I want to create a couple questions that um, a student would be presented with after the first content page. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to say add a question. And you have um, several different question types. I'm just going to go very simple here. You can um, experiment with some other ones on your own if you'd like, but I'm going to choose multiple choice and I'm going to add a question page. So I am going to say example number one and as my title, and I'm just going to say something like this, um, which, no, I'm going to make this very easy. So, you know, okay, which of the following is a singular word? And then one of my answers is going to be dog. And then another one of my answers is going to be dogs. Now, if you wanted to, you could put in um, some response to the student choosing that option. Like I could say, uh, you rock it on this one, which I probably wouldn't generally take the time to do that. And this one, I might say something like, try again. Um, now, again, they do get a score at the very end to just kind of understand how well they did. Um, you're not using the grade book, but you could use scoring just for general understanding of performance. And with this one, if they get it right, then I'm actually planning on doing about two or three questions. So I'm going to have them go to next page, which will be question number two. So I'm going to leave that. And um, I'm going to give the same thing with this one. Uh, or actually, let's try it this way. We'll say this page and they'll get the message try again. So they won't move to the next question. They'll have to re-answer this one until they get it right. I think that's that. That is what that would, would do. So let's do this. We're going to say add a question page. So that question is in here. And then I'm going to add a second question real quick. And then we'll take a look at how this looks. So I'm going to do multiple choice again. Add a question page. And I'm going to call this example number two. And I'm going to say, the last question was, which of these is singular? I'm going to say, which of these is a plural word? And I am going to say something like, um, let's, oh, I'm going to have to look around my house for something. Okay. We're going to do frame. I could be funnier, but I just not coming to me in frames. And so this one's plural, so I'm going to give the score of one for that one. And I'm going to do a score of zero for the one that's incorrect. And for this one, I'm going to say try again and jump to the same page if, so that they have to try again. And this one, if they get it right, let's say that they go to uh, the second content page. And I don't know if you remember this, but the second content page is rule number one. I'm going to scroll to the bottom and I'm going to add that question page. So now we have two content pages and two question pages. Let's see how the flow of the lesson goes. Um, actually, now that we have these things, I may even want to go back to this content page. So to do that, I click on the edit icon and then I go down to um, these um, options and if they choose try some examples now I would like that to jump to the first question page which is called example number one and if they clicked on learn more we want them to jump to the next content page which is called rule number one so I'm going to save that and now let's just take a peek at how this whole thing works 
So now we're going to review it or preview it. So I click on that tab. And Sebastian just lost his nookie, so, so he's not real happy about that. All right, so we're going to try some examples. So we watched the video, and then we try some examples. Hey, speaking of which, as I look at this video, you remember how I told you to make it 520 pixels wide? You might be able to do the 640 pixel option as well. So try some examples, which brings me to the question page. Now note that um, you do have the editing toolbar when you made this question up, so you could actually have a question with um, an image in it if that mm -hmm. for the younger learners. So I'm going to do this one, and I'm going to purposely pick the wrong answer and see what happens. So if I say dog and I say submit, as now again I'm um, the student, then I get a continue button and I have to answer that question again. So this time I am going to do dogs. Oh dog, excuse me, submit, and I get my little message, you rock it, and now when I continue, it takes me to question number two. Which of these is a plural word? And I'm going to go frames, and now if I get it correct, I should probably be pushed to the second, the next content page. So you can kind of see how you can make a little cohesive exercise where your um, students have the option of doing a little self-paced um, learning.